All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation x to the power of three minus eight is equal to zero. So how most people solve this equation is they add eight on both sides. So I get x to the power of three is equal to eight. And then they take the cube root on both sides. So the cube root of x to the power of three is x and the cube root of eight is two. So then they get x equals two, which is a solution to this equation but actually there are more than one solution to this equation. So I'm gonna rewrite my equation here, x to the power of three minus eight equals zero. And now I'm gonna rewrite eight as two to the power of three. So I get x to the power of three minus two to the power of three is equal to zero. And then now I'm gonna use the formula a to the power of three minus b to the power of three is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. So in this case, this turned into x minus two times x squared plus two x plus four is equal to zero. So now I get two equations. I get x minus two equals zero and x squared plus two x plus four equals zero. So for x minus two equals zero, I get x equals two, which was a solution that we already got. But now see on top of this, we have a whole nother equation with two more solutions because it's a quadratic equation. So to solve this, I'm gonna use the quadratic formula. So I get negative two plus or minus the square root of two squared, which is four minus four times a, which is one times c, which is four, or all over two a, so two times one. And this turns into negative two plus or minus the square root of four minus 16 over two, which is equal to negative two plus or minus negative 12 over two which is equal to negative two plus or minus 12 i over two, which is equal to negative one plus or minus six i. So these are the two more solutions to this equation. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation x to the power of eight is equal to 25 squared. So to solve this, I'm gonna first rewrite this as x to the power of four times two is equal to 25 squared. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of four times two is equal to x to the power of four to the power of two, and this is equal to 25 squared. Now I'm gonna subtract 25 squared on both sides. So these two cancel out and I get x to the power of four to the power of two minus 25 to the power of two is equal to zero. And before we actually do this, I'm actually gonna take the square root on both sides so I can cancel these twos out. So I get x to the power of four minus 25 is equal to zero. Now from here, I'm gonna rewrite this as x squared to the power of two minus five squared is equal to zero. So now I can use the formula a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b on this. So this turns into x squared plus five times x squared minus five is equal to zero. So I get two equations, x squared plus five equals zero and x squared minus five equals zero. So for x squared minus five equals zero, I get x squared equals five. If I take the square root on both sides, I get x is equal to positive or negative square root of five. Now for x squared plus five equals zero, I can subtract five on both sides. So I get x squared is equal to negative five. If I take the square root, I get x is equal to the square root of negative five, which is equal to the square root of five i. So these are my four solutions to this equation. 